Thank you, Fabian. And thank you, Nikita, and the rest of the organizers of the meeting to allow me to, to present the, the measures being integrated into the into the settlement, into the facility. As this is a, a broad audience, I, I thought to, to first introduce um, um, where we are, what we do, and, and who we are, then go into the measures pin at the facility and who can get access to, to the facility and how it's possible, the, the guides and trainings and support that we have implemented. Also, a part will be about the sample preparation, what we can also provide there, then our virtual infrastructure, and then I will end with some points on, on the experiences that we gain over, over the years. So we are in Switzerland, in Zurich, and our facility is sitting here in this green dot over here. This is the facility. And Nikita was this morning showing the measure spin over here. This is where we have the, the measure spin. For me and for him, we have a very short distance to commute. So this is the brain research building. So in a very short distance, it's possible to, to reach the, the measure spin and, and give help over there. So that's the, the main location, but the facility has five more locations. And this has been a model that uh, is helping many researchers and they appreciate and tell us that this is a good concept. They don't have, we don't have a centralized or complete centralized facility where people have to bring the samples. So they are close to the, to the institutes, high-end instruments that people can, can use it. And that's, provides still the high end, uh, not maybe a postdoc that is running an instrument. So we have professionals taking care that the systems are running and it's close to, to your research. So that's what I said, a very um, a model, a very nice model that uh, our researchers are, are telling us that this is working very nice. What we do is, um, well, we have a scale from protein level up to the scale of the measure spin. So we go from nanometer to centimeter in a scale. We do light and electron microscopy. So this is a, a, a facility integrating these two, two modalities, which brings also very nice interactions. And from light microscopy, what we have mainly is um, fluorescent coming from super resolution to confocal, white field, and so the, the measure spin or the lysis microscopes. In electromicroscopy, we cover also biological uh, electromicroscopy, so cryo EM and transmission and scanning EM. In sample preparation, we do a lot of electromicroscopy sample preparation and also clearing methods. I come in a second to that. And we also provide uh, image processing tools and, and support. So us and our users are able to do these different images from different type of scales and, and modalities. Our main part of work, and this I want to really mention, is we are professional trainers. So the idea of all these instruments we have at the facility is that we train the users to use. It's not that we learn how to use the instruments and we are sitting there. No, we try that everyone is learning how to use the instrument and we leave the users working alone. That's um, one of the main parts of, of the facility. The same for sample preparation and the same for image data analysis or processing. We also do service and, and, and sample preparation and image processing and imaging. Uh, this is more related to electron microscopy and some of the clarity or, or when we clear samples, but uh, again, try to, to do it as for the users. And we also collaborate when they are very elaborate or complicated methods. We will also collaborate with the users to establish these new methods. And another important part is that we are a consulting place. So if you have a question and you want to address with microscopy and you are not familiar with that, maybe this is not the audience, but the, you can come to us and then we discuss what could be the, the best method or whether it's like microscopy electromicroscopy or the combination of both. We give also several lectures on, in our curriculum into the university and also national and internationally we provide um, 
uh, lectures in, in different courses. For data processing, we have virtualized uh, infrastructure. So all the data goes to our server and there we have open source and also license image processing tools. So you can pro process your data that you have acquired just with, with the instrument. And we try to maintain the systems as much as possible in also all these locations that users, they only need to care to bring a good sample and needs. We try also to develop and optimize workflows and methods for, for yeah, new applications in, in microscopy. And we try to be also up to date with what will be the new um, purchase into the facility that could cover the, the facility needs. And again, a lot of support. So when there is a problem, we'll try to support you into in the instrument physically or remotely. We have around 700 active users per year uh, for the whole facility. And we have around 50 uh, instruments and just for light microscopy, around 34,000 hours per year. That brings me to this slide that is the whole team. So we are two directors and research associates and technical staff that makes that all this is running, plus the IT specialists and our team assistant. And for the measure spin, it helped that we have also the possibility that uh, Nikita is helping us here. So if you have a clear sample just in your vents and would like to do image in with a measure spin microscope, so let's say you would like to you imagine that your sample will look like this one, the first step that you can do is uh, go to our website and then register or send us an email and then you will we will try to organize a, a training for you this is open to everyone so uh, academia and the uh, industry can contact us we have a priority for the university uses of course but uh, yeah, at the moment there is no limit in, in anyone that can apply for that so once you apply for this at the moment, Nikita or me will give you the training into the measure spin. And today you saw the demonstration from Nikita. So the usage of the instrument is relatively straightforward. So after this session, uh, you will be able to use the microscope. You print your samples and then you take your images. For those who don't feel so comfortable, we provide additional sessions. So as, so as many as you need until you feel comfortable, but usually it's after the first session is more than enough. What we do often is we suggest once you come one time to, to the microscope with your sample, you have booked the system, we sit at the back and help you on, on, on any question you might have. For guiding, because sometimes what we have often is users that they come and take the images and maybe some months later they come. So that's maybe you don't remember exactly every step. So we have for every instrument a guide and this is in our website and you can for example to start the microscope just follow this guide which can be also uh, downloaded as a pdf and you can print or you can use in the browser and, and look for how i start the different components how i uh, start the software and so on so one will be for starting the the measure spin another will be for how to add image acquisition how to make a c stack and here is again what Nikita was showing this, this morning, how you bring the sample, how you will change in the axis, bring the, the sample into the, um, into the set uh, of, the, of the light sheet, make the focus, also the autofocus, and then how to adjust the ETL and at the end how you prepare a CS stack. So that's to, to acquire your images. And then attend how to close the session. And here will be how you take out the sample, how you save this in the data, and how you close the session. So with the training and these guides, almost everyone feels completely comfortable and they are working in the, in completely independent. For those who don't have yet the sample and would like to, to clear, what we can offer is expertise in, in S clarity, as Laura was mentioning, we have also this device. And yeah, you can just print your sample. We will train you how to clear. 
We offer lab space, so you can clear your sample over there. And you see also the right side of, of that picture, we have Sanel. So San was uh, helping us to set it up and we are establishing the methods that we hope we can have it completely established as a, another uh, method in the facility. We are also working with IC-based uh, cleaning methods. For the clarity, we have in our website uh, uh, yeah, some description of how to, to prepare the sample, how to use the clarity. But what I said, so for any detail, you just come to, to the facility and then we will show you how to use the instrument. Again, this will be then you can book it and, and run it and clear your sample. And then once you have cleared your sample, you have um, acquired the data, everything can be visualized in our virtual infrastructure. So the data goes to our um, server and you can, with your credentials, you can log in, reserve one of these virtual machines and then enter into our uh, server where will be your data. And there we have yeah, PT or, or Imaris, uh, softwares that can be used for analysis or visualization of the data like in, in this movie that I am showing now. So with that, you have the power of relatively strong uh, computers. You don't need to, to run on, on your local uh, computers. The number of users that we have runs uh, around 40, but I said this not running continuously, what it's doing is we have kind of a, a users prepare samples, bring, bring them image quickly, and then analyze the data later on. And uh, yeah, we have from Clarity, IBIS Core, Chanel, Cubic, and so on. So almost crunching all the different clearing methods. Also all different type of organs and all type of different species. And if I want to mention importance of the mesospin at the facility, I would say that it's covering a very nice, uh, it's helping to, to fill the, the range of scales that we can cover in the facility. So um, the large scale was always missing and now we have this, this complete gap uh, field. And provides uh, an excellent alternative to sectioning, nothing to mention over here, right? But, uh, yeah, so there are many slides the scanners uh, that produce data and yeah, the mesospin is just a fantastic way to obtain 3D information. For a facility with so many different you know, research fields, what is also very useful is to have the different clearing methods and different type of sizes to put into the microscope because we, yeah, one day is a brain, but another brain is, uh, another day is a small, uh, Xenopus larva or, or embryo, or, yeah. so we, we change a lot in, in to the type of, of samples. And again, this is open to academia and industry, to everyone, and we offer support into the S-Clarity and passive clearing, and the SANEL and IC-based methods there in a way, so we hope that soon will be also available. If you want to contact us, for sure we can run in parallel and try to establish together in, with this method. For those who don't, don't want to, to invest any time, it's also possible to, to do as a service, but we encourage that everyone is uh, yeah, learning and it's also a lot of fun to, to prepare samples and to image them. And with that, I will just uh, thank uh, Fabian, Nikita, Philip and Fritjof over the years with the, with the Mesospin always uh, supporting us and uh, giving feedbacks and, and support. And San from the Sanel, I think we are getting soon ready. Luis Santos from the first steps into the IC, from the Settenberg from the team, uh, big thanks for the complete support every day and to you for, to you for your for the attention. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Chema. Um, so there's a question in the um, in the chat, which is very similar to the question asked to Laura previously. Do you have experience in imaging heart or aorta? And uh, this is a question by Mark Schoenholzer. And 
maybe slightly related, there's another question by Katarina Petrova on uh, tumor samples. So maybe you can give like, if, if you have some previous experience with those types of samples. With, with, heart, with heart samples, what we have is a group that is uh, trying the, the method called balance, which is uh, injecting a, a dye, and then the sample is cleared by, by organic solvents by IC. And the first experience was with a mouse brain. It looks uh, with a mouse heart, sorry. It was really, really bright and clear. Mm -hmm. And regarding uh, tumor samples, not that I recall now, not that I recall now. Okay. But I will suggest and most likely in the direction of the, um, of the organic solvents will be much better. Mm -hmm. I was just, sorry, my making that. I was just thinking because usually tumors are very out of fluorescent. Do you have like, I guess there can be some specific problems because of that, but we can just try. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Also regarding these questions, um, you know, with clearing applications techniques, if, if there's others people in the uh, in the audience who have some experience with this, please feel free to chime in in the chat. This is also to kind of get you together.